On board the RV Thompson off the Washington coast, an orca sighting. Oh, there you are. Oh, beautiful. Hey guys. Oh, there's a baby, it looks like. Yeah. There it is. Then a friendly sea lion swims alongside to check out the applied physics laboratory scientists and their guests out on a four-day cruise. A cruise led by APL principal oceanographer Matthew Alford. The main purpose of the cruise was actually to deploy our mooring, the Chaba surface mooring, which is a big part of the Nanus Observatory out there. And also to recover our glider, which has been out there for about six months now. The canyon is kind of down here. And you Among the guests, UW Physical Oceanography graduate students and high school teachers. What you want to do. The classroom teachers are working on ocean acidification curriculum, bringing ocean acidification into the classroom. Since this buoy is monitoring ocean acidification, it was a great chance to get the teachers linked up with the scientists in a realm where they can all learn more about the research. Come on down, can you hear me? Teachers aboard the Thompson and students on shore talk via Skype about the science at work underway at sea. And we now know that the internal waves generated in Hawaii actually go all the way across the Pacific. We got about 80 meters of water depth here. We were out there using some pretty high-tech tools to actually look at some of these big undersea waves that we think may be responsible for bringing some of the nutrients onto the Washington shelf. Having the scientists and non-scientists together on this cruise for four days, four nights, was a really great opportunity to get non-scientists and scientists talking to each other and communicating and. Um, having them each understand where the, the other individuals are coming from. What I've really started to get the past few years is how little value science is without communicating it to the public. And so, uh, you know, we can all sit in our offices and write our papers, but really the joy for me is being able to communicate those concepts to the public. On the other hand, if you don't do excellent science, you don't have anything to communicate. This cruise was the perfect example of that, really, because we were out there just doing absolutely thrilling science, and uh, at the same time, the educators were right on board, the students were right there getting their hands wet and dirty with the instruments. This whole cruise was really designed to uh, just get the community uh, aware of some of the issues out on the Washington coast and really to help teachers uh, spread that message. Science at work for you. This is APL, the Applied Physics Laboratory at the University of Washington in Seattle.